some of my other games I recorded today, look at this. <laughs> look at me yelling. Um, these did not get recorded. Or they did get recorded. There's no audio. Um, and so I think that what I'm going to do is I'll just talk over them. Um, I don't think... These, these are all from today, and they don't have audio. And uh, so I'll just watch them and talk over them. I don't... I'm not going to pull them up. I could pull them up. This is, like, obviously, like, a... I don't know what the word is. This this was a really cool fight. So, Terran is on one base. I see that he's on one base. I know he's pushing hard, right? I see him coming. I don't have anything prepared for this. I've only got, like, one warp gate. Let's actually see... Um, yeah, I press W, I've got one warp gate. Um, yeah, so I'm not ready for this at all. Watch me press it. Yeah, just, just one warp gate. Not ready for this at all. He stims. He has no medevacs. And I overcharge the Nexus. I lose this zealot like a chump. He actually does a good job. He pulls back, but then he loses another one, loses another one, loses one more. I lose another zealot. He loses another one. And everybody's hurt because he stimmed. Stimmed eats 10 health. And I just pull back. He fights under battery. He's clearly not looking at a screen right now. And uh, now he's got this. I've got two immortals. That you cannot defeat two immortals with this comp. And uh, I basically run it down. And uh, he has some more stuff. But I basically kill him. And uh, you can see it. I've been grinding today. I was at 2,600. I've got like f probably three hours of video. Um, See, so yeah, I'm, I'm talking it over, watching the replay. But uh, poor guy. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, look at that trade. Do you see that? Just clicking buttons at this point. But uh, look at this. Score unit. Graph. Oh, look at that. Army value. Look at how badly he performed. And I just sat under whatever. Didn't have any gates. If he if he got like two medevacs and waited out the battery overcharge, I look how hype I am. Cute little me. Um, I don't recall this next one. I just got wrecked in some of these. There was one where somebody clearly just was like not playing the game. Oh, this guy. This is the guy. Um, so I do my standard build. About a six minute timing attack with a bunch of blink stalkers. And a little bit before this, I saw that he was building Vikings and Hellions. Which, if you know anything about StarCraft, Vikings are anti-air units. And watch this blink micro. Mm, it's not the best, but it's sexy. Let's watch that again. Okay. I show up. Let's do a tally, right? My face is in the way. He's got one, two, well, that Marine died. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Marines. Eight Marines. Nine, ten Marines, two Hellions, two Vikings, two landed Vikings. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine Stalkers. If I just A move this, I lose this for sure. Watch this Blink Micro. Destroy that. I lose one Stalker. And then I blink them back as they get hurt, as they their shields run out. Blink forward. I kill everything. I trade one stalker for everything. Come up. He unloads in front of my face. I drop another stalker because I don't care at this point. Okay. Two stalkers. Blink micro. Um, but that guy, he clearly was not... Like, building a Hellion and two Vikings like doesn't make any sense. I, I don't think he was new. I don't think he knew he was doing. This guy... Um, if I recall correctly... I'm going to let this one play out because I'm actually really proud of this game. And it was a good game. This was a good game. This uh, I don't want to spoil anything. But something crazy happens this game. Not crazy, but I wasn't expecting something. So I do my typical build. Six-minute timing attack. With Blink Stalkers, Forward Warp Prism. Now, he... I've got my Observer set up. I do... Oh, oh, this is so sexy. I learned this in Arcade. If you... There's this... 
if you shift, you can chain commands in StarCraft. So when I'm in a situation like that where everybody's chilling behind, if I go like this, okay, please. If, if there's a mineral line in the way and it's hard to blink everybody, if you blink and somebody doesn't have room, they'll blink onto the bottom and then you're just down stalkers. What you could do is you could move, shift blink, and then move again. And every it chains the blink. So let's watch that again. This is so sexy. Oh, look at me chain it up. Oh, baby. It's so nice. Basically run in. I believe he has a tank. But he's got a big bio ball. I kind of foolishly drop some zealots. Because I think that I can take this. And then I notice he actually has Widow Mines. I blink when I shouldn't have. Uh, what I should have done is I should have just backed up and left. I accidentally A move into his army. Because I was trying to get my warp prism out of there. And then I lose two more suckers. Right? So, botched it. Right? I botched it i played it really bad i should have left the moment i saw the widow mines blinked out and so then i panic i go oh my god he's gonna get a force and he's gonna come and wreck me so i immediately tech into colossus because colossus does a really good job of combating any bio ball sacrifices a widow mine i move up and i'm like i could just blink back to this and then blink away i know this guy is gonna is gonna chase after me so i pull this bad boy into the main he does chase after me. He stims for it. I accidentally click back like an idiot. I make two huge mistakes. I'm so worried that he's going to come run at me. I completely, completely forget about my warp prism. There's a widow mine underneath it. Uh, I think I could have warped in stuff and been fine. But I was so worried. I don't know the timings on widow mines yet. Not too many people are building them at this level. Um, so, yeah just kind of worried about that but uh then i was like oh my god like this guy held like i made some big mistakes but this guy held like um get the warp prism out does he make it out he does not warp prism dies not that i would remember <laughs> um and uh yeah and basically I, I get supply blocked i'm extremely worried he's going to come back down i get nervous like i see this huge army I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to die, right? So I want to keep one there, keep tabs on him. The other one needs to come with because he's got Widow Mines. And all I have is a Colossus in a dream right now. Now, this is where he messed up. He should have immediately marched it down. Immediately. Even before, when I accidentally A move the, or move the Stalkers back towards him, he should have marched it down immediately because I had nothing, right? Supply blocked. I've got to dump a bunch of minerals into this all i have is charge lots and colossus and i'm terrified right and so then i'm like oh my god i'm gonna lose this right pull this guy up i don't have a shield battery as i should have done i always get nervous around the front i always forget to place a second um i thought he was gonna do a doom drop like a big drop i got real anxious here and i was like i, I can't really afford to split my force i see that he sort of preemptively puts these mines here I get really good engagement. He accidentally sacrifices all three mines for nothing. Um, and you can see this last mine right here. This last mine almost ruined my life. This last mine almost killed me. I almost I almost quit. But um, he dies. Then I'm in this situation where I've got two Colossus and he's got a huge bio ball. Thankfully, I have a lot of Zealots. Um, and I've got a bunch of sentries. And sentries are so good. And um, so I try and slowly cut stuff off, and um, it's mostly an okay trade. I mean, he loses his minds, right? And then he just, like, allows me to send more stuff at him. Like, he turns around right here, and he just eats this. He just eats this. He tries to focus fire the Colossus. There's two of them. Sentries are whittling everything down. There's, they've got their shields up. Um, they didn't actually have their shields up. I just put it up at the end. But, um, I mean, there's still five sentries, two stalkers. Of course, I'm going to be warping and stuff behind this. And, um, he basically get, sacrifices everything on two Colossus. Like, you need Vikings for that. I knew, like, I did really well. My, I botched my thing. Immediately went into Colossus. 
and that really screwed him over because he had no counter for Colossus, and then he ran his entire team into my Colossus. Builds three missile turrets as a last desperate attempt against these Colossus, and of course I just shoot the SCVs down. I mean, he basically is dead. And then look, this is so beautiful. Look, he gets Colossus online late. Love Smurfs! Cheater! Oh, that feels so good. He pauses. I was going to type to him. People always pause when when they get mad. There's a pause function in StarCraft. You see, I'm elated because I, he could have won that easily. I get promoted to bronze too, which means nothing, apparently. Um, but if he... I mean, he called me a cheater. I'm in bronze. Like, uh, MMR, I guess, is, is what makes everything dumb. Anyways, I... Uh, he's... So I'm looking at the stats. I want to see where I am and where this guy is, right? I'm like, okay, I'm moving up. You know, I got bronze one or two, whatever I got. Bronze one. I was like, nice. And then I'm like, I want to see the matchmaking. I go to match history to check it out. And then I see he messages me. He says, hey, if you have to cheat in a video game to feel better about yourself, loser. And then he blocked me. Then he blocked me. Look at me. I'm laughing so hard. Oh, dude, like, yeah, poor guy, poor guy. And look, look, so into the stats, um, oh, let's go back to the top. Um, if you look at this, he actually, army value, we were tied. And look at how badly he took this fight. How god awfully he took this fight. Like, look, this is my stalker attack, six minutes, right? I lose everything. And he's continuing to produce units. If he attacked me anywhere in this valley, I was dead. And he lets me get everything back up. I literally, I build pylons and army is all I build during this time. And uh, and then he takes a terrible fight. He misses his window of opportunity, takes a horrible fight. My resource collection rate, you could see, um, dropped, I believe. Didn't expand or anything. I was just basically stuck on T-Base. Um, well, I flatline. He also f flatlines, I guess. And then I guess this is mules or something. I, I don't know. But uh, that one was funny. That was so funny. Um, I guess we're just speeding through uh, games. This one, I think I just get wrecked. I don't really remember... Looks like a Terran I'm up against. Looks like I didn't go for the fight. Who is this? Protoss? Who am I up against and why am I so anxious? Look at my face. Just like Maxim. Definitely looks like a Protoss. Protoss. Oh, this guy, I know it has. This guy, so, I this guy's playing better than me, and he's expanding faster than I am. Like, this guy was really aggressive. And he's just, he was he was just always a little bit ahead of the curve. And, but he was being very passive. Like, he hasn't attacked me at all. 12 minutes into the game. And so I say, I'm going to tech up, which is what you're supposed to do, right? This is his army. I'm like, I'm going to tech up. So I, I've got a couple void rays, which are basically useless. I've got a, a heavy, heavy immortal. And I go Colossus. And basically, um, I take this fight and I get wrecked. Um, I get wrecked. So I come up here. He flanks me, basically locks me in. He must have had vision. And I get wrecked. The charge lock front shield look i'm not even through the charge lots right now and that's because i had all mortals he had archons archons are super important to get rid of zealots and then i basically pray that my carriers can do something but he's, he's on four bases and uh he wins very well well done by this guy very very well done um that was the one i just watched yeah Yes, of course. Chase, come on. Guess I'll just I'll just recast these in fast mode <laughs> since I just played these today. 
see how much I was playing. Um, this is a Protoss I go up against. Is this not? This is not the same guy, right? It felt. Oh, I, yes, yes. Okay, I remember. <laughs> I remember this. Okay, so this guy. The, okay, I thought this was the same game. This is obviously not the same game. Pretty sure it's a different map. Uh, but looks very similar. So I go up. I get some disruptor balls because I, I don't know. I just I had an epiphany, right? Get some disruptor balls, and then I see right. Dark Templar, right? If you're unfamiliar with StarCraft, these are cloaked units. You need detection in order to detect them. And they're super frustrating. They're like the most noob-friendly unit ever because they just... You need detection, which is like the most annoying thing in the game. Protoss in particular has a very big problem with detection. Zerg... I don't want to say it's detection for free, but they have... Overlords, which grant supply. I've got pylons, right? Their overlords move and they're flying, so they can't be attacked by Dark Templar. And they can change into overseers, which are fast moving detectors, right? Terran has scans, which is just I want to I want detection right now wherever I want it, which is basically free detection forever, right? Protoss, you need to get these little stupid observers that take ages to move. You see how I'm trying to get one. I pull my whole army back. Probably foolishly, I probably should have just given up the third on a Dark Templar Tyrant. But if I did, he would have gone to my second base and it would have just been a base race. And honestly, this is a very low commitment that I felt like... Uh, and he probably sent you know a couple Dark Templar and almost killed me over it. Do you end up killing the Dark Templar? I mean, it wasn't that many Dark Templar, you know. And then... I very graciously, gratefully, grateful of past Chase for doing this, I re-macro on this third base. I could have just all in, don't have a huge bank, um, but I was like, no, I, got, I have to macro off this. It's 10 minutes into the game, both bases are low, look, on workers, minerals are running out. I do drop a couple cannons. Um, that are mostly fruitless. Now, he has not taken a fourth, to my knowledge, right? He has not taken a fourth base, which he absolutely should have done. At this level, he could very easily send those DTs in, not micro anything, done nothing, expanded off of it, right? Like, I spent so much time frantically getting detection out, hunting down the DTs, rebuilding my economy, right? Like, he did nothing on the back of this. I haven't improved my army size hardly at all and so then i run up to him and uh this is what he has i send two disruptor shots basically destroy everything and then what he does in the background he just drops more dts right which is the most frustrating thing ever i quickly get an observer out chrono boost it try and drop in zealots i don't have any money i've got floating 2500 gas Right, but I don't really care because I know, okay, he's got nothing here, right? He plops in a couple DTs because this dude only builds DTs, apparently. This guy, like, sucks at the game, only builds DTs. And I basically have no... My third base is mining, which is basically almost all my income. I don't want him to get into the main... Uh, I'm fine with just keeping the DTs here. This is super inefficient, but I don't care because I'm winning... Uh, I'm going to get into his main base, right? I'm at his natural. He's at my natural. So I'm just like biding time. Um, and uh, I'm A moving all my units. I know he doesn't have an army, right? Like it's just a matter of time before I, I kill this. Um, they'll see like he's got nothing on the backs of this. Got to get those disruptors back. This is what he has. This is what he rebuilt, which is an immortal two suckers and some zealots. All the probes are coming back. Like, he doesn't manage the probes at all. I decide, you know, I can play it safe. His 12 minutes in, his main base is probably no mining. I'm like, I'll just go to the third, destroy the third, guarantee that he's not going to rebuild anything. I've got a cannon in the main. I've got two cannons on my third. So I'm like, okay, I'm sitting on one and a half base eco, which is going to be better than his in 10 seconds. 
and um, basically kill everything. Don't even bother with the cannons. Which is such a waste of money, by the way, to just dump a bunch of cannons. Um, decided to drop some more stuff. I thought that he had DT Blink. I'm pretty sure he did. Um, at this point, I get a little anxious. I don't know what he's built up. I'm also... Don't know if he has a fourth. I don't think that he does, but I really was giving him uh, more credit than he deserved. Yeah, and then basically I, I ran up and he, he lost everything <laughs> to the disruptor shot. Nobody micros for disruptors at this elo, and I need to use them so much more. Look at this. Right, he rematch built his base, destroyed. Like you just have to move him back, and then those two units are useless. And uh, basically dies. Look at this oh, trash micro <laughs> by me. Everybody's like blocking the immortal. Anyways, kill that guy. He basically cheese DTs and uh, didn't care about anything else. Shout out to Danny DeVito. Like he plummets this, but then he doesn't do anything off of it. He plateaus. Yeah. Pretty bad. Poor guy. Um, this is looking like a PVT. I'm not sure I remember this. I think there was one game today, a Terran just wrecked me. Here's the, the push, six minute. It comes a little early, question mark? Do I lose everything? No, I just go, uh... oh, he destroys my observer. And then I'm like, okay, well, now I'm nervous. I don't know what he has. I think I built, yeah. I'm like, okay, I don't know what he has. I'm like, I'm just going to drop some stuff. Right, nothing else happened. Oh, my God, I forgot. I almost skipped over this. Dude, almost wrecked. He goes four Reaper, which is so annoying. Gets a ton of value off of it. Yes, so then, yes, 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 okay, so then I'm like, I'm not even going to go Observer, I'm just going to go for a drop, try and get some attention off me, I'm chrono boosting our stalkers, big hit from the Widow Mine, right, I lose pretty much everything, I can't fight this now, all these people die, still building probes behind this, I'm on one gate right now, right, Anyways, that's why that's why I send this warp prism out. It basically does nothing. This comes out. He uses a scan, so I feel comfortable plopping it. And uh, basically, see, he's just building, you know. I do want robo facility. This is my backup plan. Um, and uh, I think I pushed out with a little force just to check if he he had a third or something like that. He does get that which basically meant for me i'm like if he has marauders with concussive shell concussive basically marauders do extra damage to armored units all stalkers are armored units concussive shell slows stalkers uh slows anything that they hit and uh if he has marauders just a couple marauders with concussive shells i'm basically just gonna lose any fight i take especially with how far behind i am because of uh what he's done to me and uh, so I send my warp prism to go scout for a third, see how far ahead, if at all, he is. I do a good job of of uh, uh, tr probing, droning, um, get my econ back together after he totally wrecked me. And I basically am only producing units right now. And you'll see, I see that he gets a third up, and he puts a lot of static D down, which is super annoying. Not a lot. I mean, he puts what he's supposed to put down. So then I get an idea. I say, okay, I'm going to do a run up, run by. I'm going to go check this. And then I'm going to do, I'm like, I'm going to attack the third and do a run by with the Zelts, right? He scans me. He, I don't think he saw that I had a Colossus. And then I, oh, I forgot about this. Yeah. He drops in my base, right? Brilliant play by him. He, he kind of botches it. He sieges up his tank, gets like a couple hits off. Um, I mean, my whole army's there, right? He scans and it's at my second. Basically misses everything. I don't know why I didn't see that a million times before. Anyways, 
Zealots kill everything, right? Because his entire army, not his entire army, but his army's in my base. And, uh, let's see, he's got some extra stuff. He's got a planetary, which is annoying. Do crazy damage. I uh, almost botched a Colossus here. Oh, they outrange planetary. <laughs> they were chilling the whole time. Like, worried in post. He, uh, graciously puts that down, does not stop it. Let's me destroy it. He's like, hey, can you please destroy this for me? I'm like, yeah, no problem. Man. For some reason, I built two of these bad boys. Don't know what I was thinking. I do I do see Widow Mines. I want to get another Observer down. I sent him back. I'm like, oh, I have two of these. And now I've spent almost all my money. This happens, which is just brilliant to keep these around. I, like, knew that they were gone, but I don't know. I just figured, like, yeah, I don't know. It's just disappointing. Picks off a pylon. Does a great job at that. I push this. I take it, right? We don't, we don't need to get fancy with it. I just take it. And, uh, but I've got three Colossus now, which is, is, uh, scary territory, you know? That'll one-shot Marines. Two Colossus will one-shot Marines some marines but like three is just gonna like destroy lines at a time you know um and uh, i see that he puts the reapers back there which is where i'm trying to do my run by at which is super annoying trying to micro for the widow mines i don't do it particularly well i'm also was really looking to blink in onto the uh the liberators the ships that are shooting down and he basically he basically loses everything doesn't build a strong economy behind this he dumped everything in the base and pretty much died. I realized I could just run up here and get into his production line. Uh, anything that's reinforcing is just going to die. And uh, this is what he has. This is what he rebuilt. And you can see two Colossus. Like, Love Riders are not very good for anti-air. They're really good air to ground. All the Sockers are living. All my Colossus are living. Nobody's in that base. And uh, kind of play, he plays it out very, to the bitter end. Like, I've got three Colossus. Banshee is the only saving grace. I don't think he even has Cloak, though. And then he just leaves. Yep, so that was another win. I think this is a game... Oh, oh, okay. No, no, no. There's a game somewhere in here today where they just march in and kill me. This was... I get my safe void ray. I totally missed this audio cue. Basically, he dropped a... It's called a Nidus Worm. And Nidus Worm is a... It's like a, an underground tunnel, right? It's like the new Lord of the Rings movie, right? And uh, he dropped it in my base, and I did not hear the audio cue. Which is just shame on me. I actually spotted in rewatching the spot of the Zerglings over here as they ran to this base. And as he does that, sometime soon, he drops an Itis Worm in my base. There it is. I don't hear it. Not even looking until it's too late. There it pops. Nice for him in the base. Zergling stream out. Now he does a pretty poor job. I feel it's just all Zerglings. I drop a couple Zealots down and then they all attack the Zealots. They take aggro. Uh, what you gotta do is you gotta hold position. That way probes will continue to die. If you just do attack move, they'll just attack whoever the aggressor is. Actually, don't fully clean this up like a fool. There's still some Zerglings there. Um, so it actually turns out to be better than it should have been. But uh, make no mistake, I mean, it was a good play. I was not expecting the Night Swarm. I, uh, some mutilists come to kill me. Um, which signals pretty bad for me. The mutilists were pretty daunting. I was really happy of this decision. So he drops another Night Swarm, funnels a million Zerglings, right? 
happy about this. Managed to get them underneath the shield battery. Which buys time for another warp in. And then he just abandons it, right? Mortal's there. He's going to plug the door. Bunch of adapts. Like, I basically couldn't... Could be okay now. Does drop it into the main. And then I see he's got a bunch of mutas, right? So now I realize, okay, he's dropping all of his zerglings at my base, right? I've got all these zealots. And I've got very, very, very little ground to air, right? I've got way too many zealots. So then I think, okay, second base is going to be, you know, give or take. And I have a moment where I'm like, okay, he has a lot of mutilus, which is the chief concern, right? I need to deal with mutilus. I don't have any... Look, this is zealots and two immortals. I had one archon and one void ray, which is not enough to deal with it. So then I'm thinking, okay, I'm just going to send everything. I'm really proud of this decision. I just send everything. I just let the zealots kill everything. And I'm like, on the back, I've still got three ish bases worth of economy right not not full three bases but i'm like i'll just send everything like all he's got is queens and i'll just like let him i, I completely wipe the natural his base gets destroyed his main gets destroyed i know i have a bunch of gas on the back burner so i make a couple archons still have some some lingering defense and stuff like that chilling around Make four Archons on the back of this. Now, I see that the Mutalists are coming. I think I build a shield battery right there. Don't actually finish that pylon, if I remember correctly. Drop some Stalkers, because I think that he's going to my base. And um, I never killed that pylon. He never... I don't think he even commits to it. He just leaves. I didn't have anything there. Could have absolutely killed me right there. Huge misplay. Frees me up to deal with his run by. Whole point of a run by is to catch somebody sleeping, right? Now he re engages. He could have been doing damage this whole time. And then at this point, I realize okay, I've got four or five Archons, right? Four Archons and a High Templar. I realize he's got nothing at home. Everything's invested in these Mutalists. His econ is terrible, right? I saw his third base. I could just destroy him. I could kill him, and these Mutalists cannot kill four Archons, right? Even drop another Archon in the base, put it right next to Shield Battery, he's never going to die. Basically how Archons work, Mutalists are very fast, and they do a lot of damage. But their problem is, uh, they're very good for harassment. Problem is, they don't have a lot of health. They're very, very fragile. Archons are very, very tanky. Mutalists have like a little bit, it's like kind of like pseudo splash. They hit a person and then they hit another person and another, it like bounces. It's called Glaive Worm. And Archons do extra damage to Biological, which is Mutalisks. And then they do splash damage too. And Mutalisks, since they're air, they bunch together. And um, it is, Archons are great against Mutalisks. The only problem is that they can't catch Mutalisks. And I realized, like, okay, if I could run around, I could run about on my base right now, I'm never going to catch them. Or I could just go kill everything and force the Mutalists to fight me on my terms, right? So that's exactly what I do. Um, yeah, I've got a couple Archons at base. Basically kill them. And uh, he makes me kill everything, I think. Just about, yeah, which is super annoying. Nah, no, finally lose. Um, yeah, that was the end of that. Won that game. I was really proud of that game. Really worried, though. I was not ready for Mutalisks, you know? That was weird. You see it again? Okay, maybe, maybe not. Let's see what happens here. Just going through all the games today, since there's no audio on these. It's PvP. This guy, this is the one. I'll uh, spoil the, the fanfare for you. Um, I'll 
I like push with three stalkers. And then I see he's just has I'm like what the heck? Where did all this come from? And basically he runs down and kills me. Right? I go and attack him, and he flanks me, and then I, I lose everything. I, I thought everybody was going to be coming from the left side. He flanks me beautifully. I thought with seven immortals and a bunch of sentries, I could take a really favorable fight against stalkers. Like I could get some good force fields. But um, he flanks me so well. So well. Ruins my plans. GG well played. Erebor bested me. And, uh... Okay, here's another one. From today. This was the first game of the day. You can tell I've played StarCraft for three hours today. This PVZ, I don't recall what happens here. He just beats me, right? This sucks for me, right? There's no way I win this. Why did I move up on it? I'm so dumb. Yeah, this guy just beats me. God. That guy wrecks. He just has more stuff and kills me. Oh, this one. Let me walk you through this one. Oh, my God. This was so frustrating. Okay, so I scout early, right? I always do this. I see he's coming. Before I even get my scout off, I see that he's built a pylon in my base, right? I'm like, okay, sneaky, sneaky. Oh, boo, boo, you're so smart, Mickey. Mikey. Okay, forge, right? I know, basically knows I place a super secret pylon for later use and um, destroy that. And then I see he has a second probe, which is, of course, he does, right? And I basically decide, okay, I had eight probes. Do I send everything and kill it? But I have bad surface area on it, right? You put it behind a mineral line, you have bad surface area. Probes suck at doing damage. I say, no, I'm just going to send them all back and get some money. And then I'll double gateway. And I'll just prepare for whatever he's doing, right? Mistake. I should have immediately built a forge. Should have immediately built a forge and set up static D so that he can't build into my static D. My if I if you get a cannon down and it's built before the other person's cannon's built, it's just gonna kill it while their cannon's building, if that makes any sense. Also, what I should have done, right? See he's behind the middle line, he's got good surface area. I should have walled off. I should have tried to wall off. I could have built another pylon and uh this is this is sad i try and destroy this before it comes and uh, it doesn't work out basically running in circles and a second right he drops this too which is more concerning to me because this is actually a, a you know an up pylon that's up right now he takes both my gas which is annoying not terrible but it, it's just annoying Pro or uh, cannon finishes on the low ground, lose a couple probes. But now I'm like sweating because I'm like, okay, zealots aren't gonna kill him. I build a cybernetic score um, before realizing I don't have any gas. Right, I can't build any stalkers with no gas. Um, and then I pump out some zealots. Right, I think I I was very very reckless with that pathing on that second gateway. And then I decide, okay, I should probably build a forge since now that he's got cannons on the high ground, right? Which, um, a little bit late. I also realized very late that I can kill these assimilators, right? I've got zealots streaming out now. 
And I, I'm on pure mineral income right now. I'm basically pumping out a bunch of zealots. Forge is coming up. Uh, he should have very aggressively pushed his cannons. And he does, but it's taking forever, right? I hop on this. I thought that he gave it to me for... I mean, he kind of gives it to me. Um, but the other ones, it's covered by two pylons, which is exactly what you want to do. Get nervous about this right here. Um, I allow my zealots, two zealots, to die because I suck at this game. And then I'm like, okay, I need need cannons on the other side, right? Should have put this cannon one further. I thought that this was a, a cannon. It was actually a pylon that he was placing. I could have clicked on it and read what it was, and I just didn't do that. Um, so then I'm like, okay, now I need a cannon over here. Make sure he doesn't kill me. This goes down, right? These come up, you get more vision. Destroys this. Now I should have immediately said, okay, I've killed this. I need to put another one down because cannons will be able to shoot my base if he places them correctly, right? So then I'm, I'm feeling pretty good, right? I'm like, I, I've held this off, right? This is huge, 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 huge problem. I should have immediately reacted to this. Um, because there's a chance that these can hit my base, right? Which is a huge problem. Now, I get pretty confident, and I say, I'm going to start looking for a second base. Like, there's no way that this guy has the brains to get a second base right now, right? So, then I'm also thinking, long term, I'm going to get a Cybernetics Core. I've got gas mining. This is like my oh shoot moment. Um, he starts hitting my base. Um, then I'm like, okay, I've, I've got these gateways. I could just stream them elsewhere. This is a slow process, but it's going to happen. I do win this cannon war and <coughs> can't attack this cannon because these two would come into play. I learned that very quickly. And now it's basically a one cannon on my Nexus game. It's just a, it's just a, a waiting game now. It's how quickly can you Whittle this down while well, it's like a consistent rate, you know. And um, it's just what can I do with that time? I decide I have my cybernetic score up, so I'm like, okay, maybe I just get a shield battery. And the shield battery, I don't know. I, I kind of was hoping that the shield battery was going to be able to do more. I didn't even think if battery overcharge would heal up a structure or not. I think that I goofed. I'm like just now realizing that. People watching this are like, are you stupid? I think I burn all my chrono boosts anyways. I get another gateway. Get the second nexus up, which is huge. I sent these results that I streamed down. Um, he builds cannons in his own base because he hates me. This is going down. I You have to manually click the, the things. I didn't even think I chronoed. Wow. I could have battery overcharged and kept this topped up. Probably would have doubled doubled its lifespan. But uh, now I've got stalkers coming. I've got zealots coming. I'm going to skip ahead a little bit. Nexus dies. I send everybody downstairs. Tries to expand a little bit. But this is basically... I'm down in Nexus, right? But I'm back on one base full saturation. Same as he is. I've got three zealots and a stalker. He doesn't. Right? I'm chilling. For the most part, I am chilling right now. So then I realize, okay, well, I can start warping in. I've got a little bit of a bank for, you know, considering this game. And uh, I basically run everything down and kill him because this guy's an idiot. He's got three cannons on one pylon. And um, he's so, he like sends all of his stuff around. He like builds this secret base. Like, so annoying. And um, I kill this. He's got no income. His cannons aren't doing anything. He has all these probes at my base. Leaves the game, doesn't say anything. Does the most disrespectful thing. He does cannon rush, secret base. Doesn't leave once he's lost. Makes me sit around. Then doesn't even GG on the way out. Disgusting. So I send him GG man close. And he, he logged off. He logged off. How it makes my blood boil, you know? Don't even remember this. This isn't even in in the recollection. 
Looks like I'm killing it, though. Six-minute timing attack? 540, dude. I'm on top of this. Templar archives in the background? I don't know what that one stalker's doing. There he goes. He comes back. Get supply blocked because, of course. This guy has a very standard build. Ton of marines. He's got a good amount of tanks. Accidentally bleaked those two stalkers. And I think I could take this. He stims. He has combat shields, which is plus 10 health. And um, I just take a, I take an okay fight. I kill a bunch of marines. I lose pretty much all my stalkers. Definitely wasn't the best. I should have just backed up and let him... He used his stim, which is permanent damage, right? He doesn't have any medevacs up. If I just backed up, it would have just been 10 damage on everybody that I could have taken as a W. Um, instead, I fight on the stim. Um, so, I mean, it was a bad fight, but he, you know, his, his tanks right there. He's got no marauders. Um, there's definitely worse fights to take. Since everybody in his main, so he just runs his natural. Just like, hey, I'm, I'm still here. Like, you didn't kill everything. It takes a long time to set everything up. Basically, kill four marines for free. It's the moment I see those siege tanks siege, I just back up. Take an extra tank shot. I didn't want to take that second tank shot. You can see that there's no co concussive show. And uh, doesn't unseize these tanks. He's not microing these tanks. So then I think, okay, well, now he's got no... My, only a few Marines and Marauders. He's also... I'd notice in the moment, this guy sucks at reaction time, right? So I just blink into his base again. Now he's got Medivacs. But I know... He's low on all of his stuff. He's got four tanks. Doesn't siege him. For some reason, I was like, ooh, I can kill this barracks. Like, as if that's important at all. Miss Micro. The Blink. Lose a couple more. But at this point, I'm like, this game's mine. I just have to not misplay. I'll skip ahead 30 seconds. Blink in. Foolishly take on some tanks. These tanks wreck when they're in this mode. Drop some zealots in like a boss. They don't do anything to zealots, these tanks. He actually builds up a nice bio ball. Get that on fire, which is huge. Get uh, get the boys into the mineral line. And then I think he, he sends his army at me. Yeah. He comes and attacks me, which is nightmare fuel for me. And I think I lose this. I didn't have anything at home to defend. Kept putting everything. I was floating 1,200 minerals. Imagine if I had a sentry and a shield battery. One Colossus. I, uh... A couple of mortals. I mean, like, just... Threw my lead. Threw it completely. Now, he's dying. But, uh, his, his base is too much. Try and send him to the third. Everybody's gonna die. Now, my only saving grace, I don't have that many gates, like literally just three gates. I don't know how I've played this. I send everything. He depowers these two immortals. This was my, my, the only way to salvation was three immortals popping out and somehow doing this. Um, pretty much kills everything. And then, uh, GG out. He played it really well, this guy, Ray Poker. So, shout outs to him. This guy supply blocks or gas blocks me. Which I'm like, I literally don't care about you. Now, he gas blocks me. And something, yeah, something in my mind, I was just like, I'm just going to go straight to Colossus. Like, if you're going to gas block me, I'm going to feign. Like, I, put me behind, you know? Like, make him think, like, oh, yeah, my gas block really. You know, did something great there. And I'm just going to go straight to Colossus, right? 
and uh, that's basically what I do. Like senses cyclone. It's like some weird ego check. I don't know. Some weird ground scout. I don't know why he sent that at me. Then I realize he's not building anything. And uh, I pretty much come down and kill everything because he's not building anything. And uh, then I realize why he's not building anything. He's going into battle cruisers. And um, Yamato Cannon's a Colossus, which is like basically useless. He's only got two battle cruisers up. Yeah, I think he ships him to my third base. Yeah, he teleports him to my third base. I just clean it up with stalkers because he has two battle cruisers. And I send everything down in its game. Land sponge. Poor guy. Then what I think is the last game of the day. Don't remember this at all. Zerg. I think he just kills me, right? This guy just wrecked me. Oh, this was phenomenal. I remember this. Yes. Look at this. Kind of spoiled it for you. All I've got, like, it's like a scene out of a movie, right? One High Templar, one Adept, one Sentry, one Archon, or one Immortal, one Void Ray, right? He runs in with a huge Roach Push, right? This should be a loss, right? Only saving grace, I need a Mortal to get as much value as I can. I need to make good use of a force field. I have a shield battery. And Void Ray is going to be fine, right? He's in this guy. So I want to extend this fight as long as I can. And make my immortal basically get as much value as I can. Get some good stuff. Get a storm off. He doesn't micro it at all. My shield battery is dead. Like five zealots and a, an adept have taken this. Nothing happens. I think he goes for a pylon or something. No, he just didn't do anything. Everybody dies in the meat grinder. He kills five zealots a sentry. I think four zealots a sentry and an adept. And then I'm like, okay, well, maybe he's just dead off of this. Regroups a bunch of roaches. So then I get anxious and I'm like, okay, how much more is he going to send? Spoiler alert. Um, he, he actually doesn't have that much stuff. He comes up to me. I get Archons and Immortals. He's got, like, a pretty healthy army. But, uh, my army's pretty big. He miss Micros, hunts down the Void Ray, which just allows me to eat everything. And, um, basically just run at him. Yep. Hey, GG's. No oh, GG's. It just leaves. <laughs> Where's the decorum? You know? Let's look at the... Uh, I really want to look at the... The chart. You know? I go straight into the replay. Look at me intently... Studying my opponent. I just go straight to him. Oh, I think I was intrigued. He didn't have a ranking. High score finishes master, which I was like very surprised by. I don't think that he's a master level player. Um, because he didn't micro at all when I stormed him. My high templar was like, and he was like, Ugh. Just ate it. Then I get confused in the menu for a bit. I guess I never don't look don't look at how much I've played today. Don't just look. Dead man. Okay, I'm not gonna dig into this just to find the thing. Cody Victor. This is right here. This was top of the day. 
Now I have one random match history DeVito Okay. Never mind. Anyways, that's everything I did today. Okay, I played StarCraft for three hours. I crushed it. Absolutely destroyed my opponents. Climbed so much MMR. Now, I'm also going to pull this up. Ranking is silly. MMR is king. MMR can be viewed by rank here, which is what I showed you previously. I believe I showed you if I didn't show you. It's been so long since I've dug into these games, was casting these games. Boop. No, that's not at all. I don't know what that is from. Boom! This is about where I'm at. Platinum 3. Here's the MMR. I'm ending the day writing this down. 2836 on my MMR pamphlet. 2836. Huge jump. 400. And this is right after I made... I'm going to check... Uh, should I check on stream? Oh, my mic was unplugged for that too. Oh, God. It's been unplugged all day, dude. Shot four hours of video. I'm crushed right now. Okay, don't worry about it. But I talk about all the things that I'm reorganizing and that I'm I, I talk about like my experience thus far and all the lessons that I've learned and then I about like what I'm gonna do to go forward and it paid off big all the, the stuff that I learned basically. You can see I wasn't I didn't play I played like one or two games today or this day and went up a little bit but this was a huge show. Obviously I played a lot too. Um anyways Thank you guys for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.